Hello YouTubers, today we're going to be making a tote. Um, I'm going to be using purple, pink, and black. I'm using a G hook, uh, scissors, and you're going to be needing a yarn needle. I'm going to put this to the side. I want to show you the yarn that I'm using. It's a new yarn I'm trying out. It is called Buttercream Soft Knit Solid. Um, you don't get much, about three and a half ounces of yarn, and it's not cheap. So I got mine from Joanna Fabrics, and of course, I use a bunch of coupons to make the yarn cheap to get. It's about seven dollars for uh, one, and again, like I said, you don't get much. It's only about three and a half ounces. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going to put these to the side. And we're going to get started with our black here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a slip knot. And we're going to chain 35. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35, which is our last stitch. And now we're going to skip the first two chains and we're going to half double crochet in the third chain. So Let's see here. This will be one, two, and three is here. So that third chain, I'm going to half double crochet. I know this is a little hard to see considering that my background is black and my yarn is black, but you're going to crochet in the third chain from the hook and then we're going to half double crochet in the next 31 chains so just go ahead and half double crochet in the next 31 chains I am going to go ahead uh -oh, and do this off camera and I'll meet you back at the end Okay, so I went ahead and I finished half double crocheting in those 31 stitches. When you get to the end, you should have one stitch left here. And in this one stitch, you're going to put four half double crochets. So right in that stitch. Uh -oh. Okay, so... That's one, and this is two, three, and this is four, all in that one stitch. And then you're just going to 
turn it so we were working this way we're just going to turn it over this way just like this and we're just going to continue on the other side and um, now what we're going to do is we're going to half double crochet in the next 32 chains so you want to start this there's a big opening here you do not want to go in there because that's the chain that you just did your four half double crochet so you want to go in the next one right next to it so and then that would be one and you're going to half double crochet in the next 32 stitches so I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and I will meet you back at the end alright so I went ahead and I finished and I um, half double crochet and the 32 chains you should have one chain here that has not been um, half double crocheted in. in this chain you're going to put two half double crochets in that chain so one and two and then we're going to slip stitch to this next chain here just gonna go in Pull the yarn in. There we go. And this is what it should look like. This is just my chain. If you, this is a uh, when I first chain and I crocheted over. I mean my slip stitch. That's that tail that's hanging out there. So let me just take a pair of scissors and cut off the you know excess there, and then looks better. Okay. So now we're going to chain two one and two and we're going to do two half double crochet in each of the next two half double crochets so we're going to start right here in this stitch right here and we're going to put two half double crochets so one and two and then we're going to put two half to go double crochets in the next stitch. So one, and this is two. And then what we're going to do is we're going to half double crochet in the next 31 stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that off camera and I'll meet you back at the end. Alright, so I went ahead and I have double crocheted in that next 31 um, stitches. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put two half double crochets in each of the next two half double crochets. So this next stitch you're going to put two half double crochets. So that's one and this is two and then you're going to do the next stitch you're going to put two so one mm -mm. pull out some yarn and this is two okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to half double crochet in the next half double crochet so in this one it's just going to be one half double crochet and then we're going to put two half double crochet in each of the next two half double crochets so here is going to be one and this is two and then the next stitch is going to be one uh -oh. and this is two okay and then you're going to half double crochet in the next 31 half double crochets. I'm going to go ahead and finish that off camera. I'll meet you back at the end and show you what to do next. All right, so I went ahead and I finished up that row. Now, when you get to the end, you should have two stitches left. And in those two stitches, you are going to put two half double crochets. So the first stitch that's one uh -oh. and two 
and then this is one and this is two and then you're going to just slip stitch to the top of your chain two here so there's my chain two right there I'm just gonna go in and slip stitch and then this is what it should look like let me just fix the camera here okay there we go so and then for round three we're gonna chain two one and two and we're gonna half double crochet in the next two half double crochets so hold on. chain two sorry right here should be my slip stitch one and two there yeah, that's better okay and then I'm just going to half double crochet in the next two so one and the next one is two alright then we're gonna put two half double crochets in each of the next two half double crochets so you're gonna to go to the next stitch and you're going to do one and another half double crochet in that same stitch then you're gonna to go to the next stitch and you're gonna put two half double crochets so that's one and this is two okay and now you're going to half double crochet in the next 32 half double crochets I'm gonna go ahead and finish that off camera and I'll meet you back okay so I went ahead and I finished uh, those 32 stitches now we're going to do two half double crochets in each of the next two half double crochets so right here that's one and two and then you're going to go to the next stitch and put two half double crochets in there so one and two and then you're going to half double crochet in the next four stitches so one two and this is three and four and then after that you're going to do two half double crochets in each of the next two half double crochets so go to the next stitch and put two half double crochets and then you want to put two more half double crochets in the next stitch so one uh oh oh no okay oh okay hold on I have lost my yarn okay so that was one and then I'm gonna put one more in that same stitch and then you're going to have double crochet in the next 32 stitches I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and then I'm gonna meet you back at the end okay so I went ahead and I finished my 32 stitches um, and you can see how that new yarn I was telling you about was it's coming out I really like the way it feels and I like the way it looks so when you get to the end you should have three stitches and what we're going to do is we're going to half double crochet in each of the next two half double crochets so two half double crochets in the next stitch one and two and then you're going to put another two half double crochets in the next stitch one and two and in this very last stitch you're just going to half double crochet and then you're going to slip stitch to your chain two to the top of your chain two and this is what you should have so far now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to round four and we're going to chain two one 
and two. And you're going to half double crochet in the next four half double crochets. So, this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. Uh -oh. All right, that's that. And then we're going to do two half double crochets in each of the next two half double crochets. So in this next stitch, you're going to do two half double crochets, one and two. And then in the next stitch, two half double crochets. So one and two. And then now we're going to half double crochet in the next 33 stitches. I'm going to go ahead and finish that off camera and I'll meet you back at All the right, end. Alright, so I went ahead and I did my 33 half double crochets. And now what you're going to do is you're going to do two half double crochets in each of the next two half double crochets. So, right here, that's one and two in the next stitch. And then in a stitch after that, one and two. And then what you're going to do is you're going to half double crochet in the next seven half double crochets. So it's one, uh -uh, two, three. And this is four, five, this is six, and seven. And then you're going to put two half double crochets in each of the next two half double crochets. So right here in this next stitch, it's going to be a one and two half double crochets in that stitch and then we're going to do two more half double crochets but we're going to do it in the next stitch so one and two and then after that you're going to do one half double crochet in the next 33 half double crochets so I'm going to go ahead and finish that off camera again this is what you should have so far and then I'll meet you back at All right, the end. so I went ahead and I finished the 33 stitches. I'm at the end and when you get to the end you should have uh, four stitches left. So in the next two stitches, two stitches you're going to put two half double crochets. So one and two and then the next one is going to be a one half double crochet and two half double crochet and then in our last two stitches we're just going to simply half double crochet in these uh, last two stitches so uh -oh, one and then half double crochet in the next stitch and then you're just going to slip stitch to the top of the um, chain two if I can get it in there, there we go. All right, and this is what you should have so far. Okay, and now we're going to go to round five. We're going to chain two, one, and two, and we're going to half double crochet in the next five half double crochets. So one, two, three, this is four, and this is five. And then we're going to put two half double crochets in each of the next two half double crochets. So we're going to do one and two 
and then in the next stitch one and two and then we're going to half double crochet in the next 36 stitches I'll go ahead and finish that off camera and then I will meet you back at the end all right I went ahead and I finished my 36 stitches now we're going to do two half double crochet in each of the next two half double crochet so we're going to put two half double crochets in the next stitch and two half double crochets in the stitch after that okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to half double crochet in the next eight stitches so one two three four five six this is seven and eight okay and then once you do that you're going to put two half double crochets in each of the next two half double crochets so again that's two half double crochets in the next stitch and two half double crochets in the stitch after that And now you're going to half double crochet in the next 36 stitches. I'm going to go ahead and finish that off camera and I will meet you back at the end. Okay, so I went ahead and I did the other side of my 36 stitches and now we're going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then two half double crochets in the next stitch after that, one and two and then we're going to do one half double crochet in the next two stitches and then we're going to go ahead and slip stitch to the top of our chain two here there we go now we're going to go ahead and go to round um, six so we're going to chain two one and two we're going to half double crochet in the next seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven and then we're going to do two half double crochets in each of the next two stitches so one and two in the next stitch and then two more in the next stitch after that and then it's simply going to be half double crochet in the next 38 stitches I'm going to go ahead and finish that off camera and I'll meet you back at the end. All right, so I had, went ahead and finished the 38 that I was doing. Now we're going to put two half double crochets in the next stitch. So one and two, and then two half double crochets in the stitch after that. And this is one and two. And then we're going to half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and this is seven, eight, 
this is nine and ten. And then we're going to put two half double crochets in the next two half double crochets. So this first stitch, one and two in the first stitch, and then in the next stitch, one and two in the next stitch. And then we're going to go ahead and half double crochet in the next 38 stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and I'll meet you back at the end. Alright, so I went ahead and I finished my 38 stitches. You should have 4 stitches left um, when you come to the end of your 38 stitches. We're going to half, we're going to put 2 half double crochets in the next stitch. So 1 and 2 and then we're going to put two more half double crochets but in the next stitch so one and two and then in our next or our last two stitches you're just going to simply put one half double crochet in each of them and then you're just going to slip stitch to the top of our chain two if I can get it in there I always have trouble with this there we go. Alright, there we go. And this is what it should look like so far. Which is pretty nice. Um, now for round seven, you're just gonna simply chain one and you're going to slip stitch in each half double crochet all the way around. And then you're going to slip stitch in the beginning of the chain one. So, chain one, and we're going to go in, and that's our slip stitch. Go in, pull your yarn through, pull through the loop. Go in, pull the loop, pull the yarn through, and go through the loop. There is no um, yarning over with a slip stitch. So you're going to do this all the way around. I'm going to do mines off camera and then I'll meet you back at the end. Okay so I went ahead and I finished my um, slip stitch all the way around. Now for round eight you're going to chain one and you're only going to be working in the back loops only. So what you're going to do is you want to double crochet. So you're working in these back loops only. Uh -oh. Went through too many loops. We're going to double crochet. So you want to work in the back loops which are back here. So right here. And then you want to double crochet like that. And then you're going to single crochet in the next stitch, but still only in the back loops. So we're going to single crochet here. And then you're going to double crochet. Uh oh. But only in the back loops. So there you go. Now you're just going to keep continuing this pattern of double crochet, then single crochet, then double crochet, and single crochet all the way, all the way around to the end. And you're going to, and you're going to just go around to the end and in, when you get to the chain one you're not going to join so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off camera and then I'll meet you back at the end okay so I went ahead and I went all the way around with my double crochet single crochet double crochet single crochet now I'm at the end and I want to show you 
I have just done a single crochet and right in here where this slip stitch is I don't know if you guys can see that little hole right there um, you're going to do a double uh, a double crochet in there right in there and then what you want to do is because you're not going to be slip stitching anymore you want to use a place marker now I just have a um, small piece of yarn and I just pull it through just like that and there is my stitch marker right there now for rounds 9 through 12 this next stitch is a double crochet you're going to single crochet in the double crochets and double crochet in the single crochets and you're going to do that all the way around to the end and that's 9 through 12 so I'm going to go ahead and finish that off camera and then I'll meet you back at the end of round 12 okay so I went ahead and I finished rounds um, 9 through 12 now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our scissors here we're going to cut off so I cut off my black and now I am going to add pink we're going to add pink for round 13 and um, this is what you're doing to yarn over and what you want to do is so our next stitch would be uh, actually our next stitch would be a single crochet so go through with the single crochet make sure you find out if it's a <laughs> if it's a uh, single crochet or double crochet actually I could show you guys how to add when it's a single crochet you would go through yarn over and then pull the yarn through and there you go and that's how you would add your yarn if it was a single but you're gonna go ahead with continue with your pattern of single crochet double crochet single crochet double crochet um, now we're just gonna do the 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 pattern like I just said we're just gonna continue all the way around and you're going to do that for rounds 13 through 17 so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that off camera and then I will meet you back at the end okay so I went ahead and I finished my five rows of pink now and of course this is what it should look it should look like a small oval shaped bowl so right now I'm gonna take my scissors I'm gonna cut off my pink and I'm going to add my black again so I'm gonna turn it this way oh I almost forgot to pull in forgot to pull in my stitch marker here pull it up some okay so now I ended with a double crochet so it's going to be a single crochet and this it's going to be four rows 18 through 22 that'll be five rows with this black so again to add our um, black I'm just gonna zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing okay so you're gonna go in the loop going to yarn over and then you're going to take that yarn and pull it through and over again as if you were doing a normal single crochet pull through and then remember to pull your yarn to tighten it up a bit and then you can just continue on with the pattern after the single crochet will be a double crochet and then you continue with the single crochet double crochet single crochet and remember it's from row 18 to 22 that is five rows so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off camera and uh, I'll meet you back at the end okay so I went ahead and I finished my five rounds in black here um, and now what we're going to do is again we're going to cut off our yarn and I'm going to be adding this uh, pretty purple here 
So we're going to go ahead and get our hook. And I end it on a single crochet. So I'm just going to yarn over like this. I'm going to go into the next stitch, pull through, wrap around, pull through two, go through two. And there's my double crochet. And I'm going to pull my yarn here, make sure it's tight. Then I'm going to go ahead and do my single crochet just to secure. Now, our next row will be row 23 through 26. You're going to continue to work the pattern, but you're only going to do four rows. So 23 to 26 is only four rows. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that off camera and then I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so I went ahead and I finished rounds 23 through 26. Now we're going to go ahead and switch back to our black, which I have already done. And now we're going to do rows 27 through um, 30 which is going to be another four rounds in black. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so I went ahead and I finished um, 27 through 30. Now we're going to do rounds 31 through 33. That's only three rows. You're going to switch back to your pink, which I have already attached my pink and I just wanted to show you guys the bottom of the bag, how it came out. So this is what it should look like on the bottom of the bag. Now you're just going to attach your yarn and you're going to go ahead and continue on with your pattern. You're going to go ahead and continue on with your pattern which I ended off on a double crochet so I attach with a single crochet and I'm doing a double crochet and then you do your single crochet uh, crocheting over your tails to hide them. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish my three rows, 31 through 33, off camera, and then I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so I went ahead and I finished round 31 through 33. I did uh, my pink. Now I'm going to go back to my black, which I have already attached, and we're going to do rounds 34 to 36. That's just another three rows in black and we're just going to continue on with that same pattern of the single crochet, double crochet, and then so on and so on. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this off camera and I will meet you back at the end. Okay, so I went ahead and I finished rows 34 to 36. Now we're going to do rows 37 to 38. That's two rows. Now I switched to my purple here. I've already attached it and you're just going to go ahead and continue with your um, pattern of single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off camera and I will meet you back at the end. Okay, so I went ahead and I finished rows 37 through 38. Now we're going to switch back to our black and we're going to do rounds 39 through 40. And it's two rows and we're going to do that in black. I've already secured. Um, you're just going to go ahead and like I said before, continue with your pattern. So I did a single crochet. So my next one would be a double crochet. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off camera and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so I went ahead and I finished rows 37 through 30. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah rows 39 through 40 uh, with my black. Now we're going to do one row of pink and then we're going to do five rows of black again. And you're going to continue that pattern, the single crochet, then double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. Um, I'm going to finish mine off, um, off camera and then I'll meet you back okay, at the end. So I went ahead and I finished round 42 through 46. Now you're not going to cut off your yarn just yet. You're going to go ahead and do one round of nothing but single crochets all the way around. Then you're going to cut off your yarn and finish off your basket. Then you're going to take your yarn 
uh, same color, black, and you're going to chain 200. And we're going to be starting our shoulder straps. So I'm going to go ahead and do all that off camera, and I'll meet you back at the end of my chained 200. Okay, so I went ahead and I finished, and um, I chained my 200. I finished my purse here, the little tote. Um, finished it up, and I chained my 200. So what you're going to do now is you're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So that will be this one right here. Just going to single crochet there. And then you're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way to the end. And then you're going to go on the other side. You're not going to turn it, you're just going to, you're going to go on the other side of this and you're going to slip stitch on the other side. Then you want to attach it to your tote. Uh, you want to do this, you want to do this one more time to make the other um, strap. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off camera and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so I went ahead and I did the single crochet um, all the way down and um, I forgot to tell you guys when you have, you want to single crochet all the way to the last stitch and in that last stitch you want to put two single crochets. So let me just, if I could get in there, okay, there we go. So one, uh -oh. and then I want to put another one in there. And then I wanted to show you guys what I meant by working the other side. So I am just turning, I'm not turning and working this way. I am turning it over and I am literally working on the other side, the bottom part of my chains. And you're not going to single crochet. You're going to slip stitch and stick your hook in, pull through, and then pull through. So hook goes in, you pull your yarn through, and instead of yarning over, you just pull through the other loop. So you're going to do that all the way down to the end. And then you're going to fasten off and you're going to attach it to your tote that you made. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off camera and then I'll meet you back at the end and show you how to attach the strap to the back. Alright, so I went ahead and I finished my strap here right here. Now I'm going to show you how to um, attach it to the bag. Now I cut off a long piece of yarn that I was using, the same yarn I was using to crochet with. Um, and you're going to use this yarn like it was thread. Because so, we're going to go ahead and sew. We're going to go ahead and sew on our strap. Okay, oh, there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and tie this to a knot just like I would if I was using real thread. So just want to make sure that that's not going to come through that's good now you want to position your bag your I'm sorry your strap somewhere close to the end and you want to start with the you want the needle wants to be um in the inside so actually like this okay so there just want to position it. Now you just want to go through. If I can get the needle through. There we go. You just want to go through and pull it through. And you want to sew it on just as if you were using 
real thread and you want to make sure you sew it on you want to make sure it's straight you don't want it to end up being crooked There we go. And I want to tell you to leave a little bit of tail when you tie that knot just so you can sew in that end. And you just want to continue to keep sewing. Uh oh. And I got my mouse stuck. Okay. Get your yarn getting uh, caught on stuff. So, go ahead. I just want to make sure it's secured. There we go. And you do the same thing that you do when you're done sewing uh, with any thread. You want to cut off, leave a good amount. You want to cut off the end. You're going to take the excess and put that away to the side for right now. And normally what I do is I simply tie a knot with the two just to secure it and this will be on the inside of the purse and then what you do is you can just take this uh, yarn and just sew in the ends I wouldn't cut it I would sew it in and hide it so and then you want to go ahead and attach the other strap somewhere here now my directions say to leave about six and a half inches so with it being here so of course you can put this anywhere you want but so it would be here is where I would put it And if you want, you can always just, you know, to mark it like that. So I'm going to tie a knot at the end. It's like a regular knot here. And I'm going to do that twice, just like I would if I was actually had some thread. There we go. So I see I stuck that needle in there to keep it in place. Um, then again, you want to go from, you want to make sure it's low enough, and you want to go in through the inside of the purse, not the outside, because you don't want your tails showing on the outside. Just go in like that. And then I go in close to the top here. That. and then the other one there we go and again like any yarn like I'm well, any thread that you're using you just want to cut off a good amount take your access put it to the side and again what I like to do is I like to tie a knot to secure so and I do that twice and then I'll sew that in later but so here is your bag and you want to make sure I didn't say this before but you do want to make sure that you don't twist the handles when you sew them on I was lucky and I didn't twist it but you want to make sure that you don't twist your straps here um now I hope 
that you have enjoyed this tutorial you're just going to go ahead and make another one of these and you're going to do the same thing on the other side um, but here is I hope you guys can see this so I'll try to move that out some but here is the bag yeah so I like it it's really nice um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and as always I am Pink Olay saying happy crochet mm -hmm.